What's the right order to add hot tub chemicals? Adding chemicals in the wrong order can cause cloudy water and prevent your chemicals from working in the first place. So here is the right order to add chemicals to your hot tub. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Matt from Swim University. Before we get into this video, if you want more help taking care of your hot tub, be sure to grab our free hot tub cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash spa sheet. It's totally free and will help keep your hot tub clean and clear throughout the year. Before adding any chemicals, test your water. Using test strips, you'll wanna check the following levels. Number one is total alkalinity, which should be between 100 and 150 parts per million. 80 parts per million is usually okay. Number two is pH, which should be between 7.4 to 7.6. Number three is free chlorine or bromine. Your chlorine should be between one and three parts per million, or your bromine should be between three and five parts per million. If you use a mineral sanitizer, ozonator, or a UV system, these levels only need to be at 0.5 to one part per million respectively. Number four is calcium hardness, which should be between 175 and 250 parts per million. Next, you'll need to have the following chemicals on hand. Alkalinity increaser, pH increaser, pH decreaser, chlorine or bromine, and I recommend either chlorine granules or bromine tablets. Chlorine tablets tend to be a little overpowering for most hot tubs. Calcium hardness increaser, oxidizer, aka non-chlorine shock, chlorine shock, and finally a metal stain and scale preventer if you need it. All right, so it's time to start adding chemicals. Be sure to wait 10 to 20 minutes after adding each chemical to let it circulate and dissipate. Keep your jets on low and the air blowers off and the water heated when you're adding chemicals. Okay, here's the order I recommend for adjusting your water chemistry. And this order works whether you're starting your hot tub up for the first time or you're just doing weekly maintenance. If you use a stain and scale preventer, add this before you add anything. Otherwise, you can start adjusting your total alkalinity. Your alkalinity helps prevent your pH from fluctuating, so balance it first. If you need to raise your alkalinity, use an alkalinity increaser. If you need to lower your alkalinity, you'll actually use a pH decreaser. You likely won't see this fluctuate much week to week, but make sure it's in the range before adjusting other levels. Next, you wanna adjust your pH. Proper pH levels help your sanitizer work more effectively. This can fluctuate pretty often, especially if you use your hot tub a lot. So test and adjust your pH weekly. You can lower your pH with pH decreaser and raise it with pH increaser. If you have issues balancing your pH, be sure to check out our other video. Then it's time to add your chlorine or bromine. This is what kills contaminants, bacteria, and algae in your hot tub and what keeps your water sanitary. So refresh your sanitizer levels each week. This can mean adding chlorine granules directly to the water or adding bromine tablets to a floating dispenser. If you're using bromine, it could take a while for these levels to build up in your water. So if you're having trouble, be sure to check out our other video on how to use bromine in your hot tub. Finally, adjust your calcium hardness. Poor calcium hardness levels do more damage in the long run like eroding your hot tub surfaces and equipment. But it's still important to keep on top of these levels, especially if you just refilled your hot tub with fresh water. And if you have hard water, be sure to use a hose filter when refilling your hot tub. Lastly, you'll wanna shock your water once a week. This helps refresh your sanitizer and kill extra contaminants. You can either add oxidizer, AKA non-chlorine shock, or you can add chlorine shock to your water. Oxidizer helps keep your chlorine or bromine active in the water, but chlorine shock is more powerful and directly kills contaminants. Either one is fine, even in bromine hot tubs. So it will really depend on your hot tub usage and if you're noticing issues like cloudy or murky water. If you need more help with hot tub care, be sure to grab our free hot tub cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash spa sheet. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and check out our channel for more tutorials. That's it. Thanks again and happy soaking.